Not the best day to ride around the lake and catch a fish yesterday, and certainly not the best day to, yes, do this. Play a softball game. Cold and misty throughout the state, but the Tim Short Classic, it continued on. Clay County and Rowan County meeting in the winner's bracket, and the winner would move on to the championship game. This is a double elimination tournament, so that's how it went. Bottom third is where we pick it up. Emma Hurd gets one up and over the second baseman. Kimberly Mills come on down. She scores 5-3 Clay County. Jump to the fifth. Janae Graham lifts one to center. Rowan County not going away. That'll score two runs. Macy Jones, Savannah Hamilton, they tie the game at five. Now there's a time limit on these games, so we go bottom fifth. If Clay could score, they would win. Rachel Baker appears to ground out for the final out, but uh, that's a bad throw to first. Shelby Phillips comes home from third. Coach Gilbert with high fives, high fives, high fives all around. Clay County wins 6-5. Now that put Rowan in the loser's bracket, but the Vikings, they fight back. They make it out of the loser's bracket and into the title game to play guess who? Yes, Clay County again, but again, they'd have to beat them twice because it was double elimination. Top six. Game tied at three. Rachel Baker, she doesn't swing at the junk in the dirt, and here comes Bree Owens, her slide game. Not that strong, but she gets a good laugh out of it. The Lady Tigers go up four to three. Score stays the same. Going into the bottom of the seventh, Owens gets Sarah Robinson to ground out. One down. Next batter, Macy Jones. Pop up. Baker there to catch it. Two down. But this is where it gets dicey. Owens, she walks the next two Rowan County batters, and that puts Emily Hammonds up to bat with two on and two outs. Pop up. I got it, I got it. Tracy Hubbard, yeah, she's got it. And that's the ball game. Clay County wins the Tim Short Classic 4-3 over Rowan County. Enjoy this celebration. Oh, you gotta love it. Coach's sunglasses were falling off, but it didn't matter. They did fall off and the sun did come out a time or two and I started to put them on, but I said, no, I didn't have them on this morning, so that's bad luck. <laughs> so I left them on the hat. We're feeling pretty solid right now, but we're still preparing for district and region because we're still not near ready to go to state yet, but we are preparing.